Welcome to Epic Learnings, Happy with the World, Volume 34, the cruise together. Nat's looking really sunny. Hey, Scott. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Every week we get together to talk about our wins and let you guys know what's coming up in our upcoming week. So, Nat, you go first. What was your win? Uh, win of the week. I'm back from DevLearn. So, I um, was away for a wee while. Had a wee sort of trip to the States. Uh, went to the e-learning guild sort of kind of flagship conference for the year, which is uh, called DevLearn. Met heaps of awesome instructional designers from um, mainly from the States, but a few from around the world. And uh, yeah, learned heaps, made some good contacts, had a really great time. Uh, probably definite highlight for me was one of the keynote speakers was a woman called Linda Barry. She's uh, quite a well-known American cartoonist and talked about creativity and getting back to these, which she called the, the uh, original digital. So, um, oh, yeah, very cool, very cool. Nice she was awesome. She, um, she was, tools. Yeah, 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 true. Uh, yeah, she was definitely quite inspirational and still really front of mind for me. So, yeah, that's my one of the week. It was a pretty good run. Cool, cool. Would you go back to Devlin? Uh, yep, in a heartbeat, like uh, 2009, uh, the something. <laughs> 2009. Oh, Nat's Very a little hard. jet lag still. Yeah. She's, we lost the jet lag. That's all right. <laughs> well, what was your one of the week? Uh, so um, my one of the week is I'm starting to master, well, I won't say master, I'm starting to learn more about interactions and storyline. And um, I managed to create one that Carl really liked which was awesome so um i might put a i might put a screenshot of it up with some stuff going past uh but yeah i starting to learn all about triggers and layers and and animation getting the animation sorted is a is a real real big one but i'm getting there so i'm gonna start doing that on the side just think of some something that looks cool and make it into an interaction that might help us in the future so. yeah yeah so if it's not moving then it's a powerpoint basically Pretty much, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. trying to shy away from powerpoints. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my fault. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Demo it. Pop it up somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, my win of the week is I. I was leaving Christchurch after visiting Nat, and I was stuck at the airport for a couple of hours. And I was going, man, I wish I could do be more productive. And what I figured out is, if I had a second screen, then it's easy to make e learnings. And anyone that makes e learnings will know that you need to have. We have whatever storyboard up that you're trying to author when, you, when you're doing it. So <laughs> um, I did some research, found an app called uh, Duet, which you can attach to your PC and turn into a second monitor. And then you can spend six bucks by a little cheap um, mount that makes it so you can stick it to the side of your laptop. So now I've actually got two screens. The ironic, is my, ironic thing is my iPad screen is better than my laptop screen. So that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm slowly becoming more and more um, functional when I'm out and about. So one of my goals for 2019, I'm, I imagine we're going to do an episode on that, will be to do some more traveling. So more functional traveling ability is going to be is my big win. But yeah. So Carl's, Carl's this guy at the airport that's got like these multiple screens coming out of his laptop looking pretty techish. <laughs> and I have to say, <laughs> oh yeah, I think you saw that. Now. <laughs> we met up at the airport because we both were flying in at the same time from different places, and he was there a bit earlier than me, and I could spot him from a mile away <laughs> <laughs> because nothing screams super nerd than a guy with a second screen on his laptop. <laughs> in an oh, airport. <laughs> I, I, there were some people, I was getting some pretty funny looks from the other business people just sitting there by me with their laptop going, da, 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 and I'll sit there and it takes me like 20 minutes to set up and start. But uh, I promise you I'll get better and my, my setup will to get faster as I get used to it, right? I didn't have to calibrate all my screens and get my keyboards right. And, yeah, it'll get better. It's not just looks. It's not just looks. It's productivity. It takes 45 minutes to set up. Oh, okay. Enough laughing at me. Nat, what are you, what's um, on your upcoming week? What's uh, it's a really funny time of the year, actually, because we've got projects finishing and projects starting. So we've got a few projects that are sort of starting to get traction that will carry over to the new year. And then we've got a few projects that are sort of winding down and we're, we're making sure we're going to have complete before the end of this year. So um, I've got a bit of a mixed bag next week. I'm delivering a couple of workshops. I've got um, a bit of design work to do yeah i've 
we were actually really busy, which is always good. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you, Scott? Uh, me, um, well, I've got an old um, catalyst back. <laughs> I'm doing doing um, work, like busy, busy work. It's it's crazy until Christmas, like Nat was saying. But I've got an extra project. I just need to sign off for what the price is going to be, and I've got to figure out our Christmas night. Oh, that's right. Christmas that's funny. Night, so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I managed to I managed to find a few games last night while I couldn't sleep, which was cool. So um, we could be on a raft. I don't know. I'm not going to say too much, but we could be on a raft. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> not going not gonna to argue with it then. Um, <laughs> it's like, is it a future raft? Or, uh, <laughs> so what am I up to? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with Nat, but um, the tricky thing for me is I've got a lot of projects that are all in different places or different work, whether it's getting final sign-off for just starting. So... Um, everything's all over the place and yes lining up for a busy christmas when me and nat this time last year said yeah we'll probably just have a no one wants training at the end of the year <laughs> who wants training in november and december no one because they're all going away for holidays you know what everyone wants training done that <laughs> because they need to have it ready for next year we just learned that so we're finding it out now so yay for being busy let's just have holidays in the next year 2019 for holidays <laughs> um, well that's it from us again thanks for watching if you want to join us let us know um, I guess share what you're up to and if there's any cool learning um, conferences you've been to or any kind of technology hack let's, let us know and we'll get into it with you and maybe invite you to talk about it so that's it from us see ya see you guys see ya